coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Cody Garbrandt and Nick Diaz. and still one of the biggest stars in the sport, DC. Nick Diaz back for the first time in a long time, and the fans are excited to see what he can do. You know he's coming in shape, so we'll see how it goes for him tonight. Nick Diaz will always be prepared to fight because when he's away, he's competing in triathlons. He's staying in shape, he's swimming, he's riding his bike. He's doing so many things, he's constantly grappling. He has his own academy out in Stockton. A guy that's never too far away from mixed martial arts. Nick Diaz has competed in some of the biggest fights in mixed martial arts history, and tonight, he looks to leave his mark again. Team Alpha Male staple, the former UFC Bantamweight champion, Cody Nola Garbrandt. He was 11-0 when he beat Dominic Cruz to win the belt back in 2016. Some recent adversity for Cody Nola, but this is a special athlete who most people believe will eventually get on track. Cody Garbrandt is a guy that has competed in so many sports at such a high level. Yes. He was a state champion wrestler, was a state champion football player, but then decided he was going to focus on boxing became a Golden Gloves champion, a guy that has all the ability to once again hold the UFC championship. How about Cody Garbrandt playing middle linebacker, 135 pounds in the state of Ohio? In Ohio. Tells you all you need to know about Cody Garbrandt back on the proving ground here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Garbrandt is 29. Diaz is 37. He is four inches taller. He will have an 11 inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 10 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, Nick Diaz! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 12 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, Cody And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. All right, so here we go with round one, and when you are facing a submission specialist like this as a striker, you have got to avoid the canvas, I would think, at all. Yes, you have to. And if the striker gets taken down, he needs to make sure the only thought is to get back to his feet. But whether the submissionist goes to his back or is on top, you've got to make plan number one, getting back standing and getting back to your space. If not, you're going to find yourself tapping and really wondering why, why did I not engage him in this game? Look at you dropping a submission. Ah, uh, it's crazy. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. He's made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Really tight. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big kick lands. That right hand hurt him a little bit. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Cody Gump. 
caught that kick there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Going to the body there with the right kick. Oh, nice strike landed there by Diaz. Big right hand there. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, he misses with the left punch there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. He's very tricky when he throws that body to him. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar, guys, reach back inside and try to find space. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. Did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. Round two on the way. Garbrandt gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Ooh, blocks the shot. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Big ball. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, 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 oh. He went high on that one. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Nice strike. Oh, news hurts. Serve him up. Go get him. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. You. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. continue to pile up 54 total strikes have landed for Cody Garbrandt well still connecting on about four of every 10 attempts 40 percent the accuracy right now against Cody no love Garbrandt oh spinning back fist he didn't telegraph that one at all 
Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Garber. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Diaz's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Nice shot to the body there. He's able to... I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly leg. Great punch. Oh, hook to the body here, but strong defense. Wow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! He's getting lit up right now, John. Get right here! So hold on. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Gets up, but he looks dazed and confused. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine's called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 48 seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by knockout, Nick Diaz! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce. He's gonna be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, also, most time walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.